Hi everyone, it's me Ali and first of all thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. Uh, that means a lot to me and uh, uh, I'm going to share something very very special today. How did, how did it all started for me? And uh, uh, that started with a one shot solo ride on the highway and I'm going to talk about that today. I'll share my story uh, from uh, something which uh, encouraged me and gave me confidence that I can travel solo so I'll share that with you and uh, for that I'm going to take you to my home first uh, I'm going to share the story there so it all started for me when I bought my bullet uh, Royal Enfield bullet 350cc on 24th of December 2015 and uh, the reason I got it was simple I just wanted to uh, tour. I just wanted to travel all over India on my bullet and uh, uh, the only uh, problem was that I never had the guts to do this solo so I thought okay I have uh, two friends who have bullet and uh, I'll ask them that if they are interested or not one of them was not interested because uh, he was uh, he was not interested in riding the bullet on on the highway and the other friend, with, you know, we work at the same place and uh, our program used to get cancelled every time. So I thought, uh, why not do it solo? And uh, it was not that easy. Uh, I, never, I've, uh, uh, I never rode my uh, bullet on the highway before that day. And every week I used to think, okay, I'll do it. And I made a plan then because I knew that uh, I don't have that much of confidence of riding on the highway. And that's the main challenge because riding in the city and riding on the highway are completely two different things and uh, I thought okay I've been riding a uh, motorcycle for past 10-11 years now and uh, even though I've not rid ridden at all on the highway but I have the experience of city so let's do one thing let's go for a short ride which will include the highway and I thought I should go to Murthal so my first ever solo ride was to Murthal and uh, Every uh, day, every week off, uh, when I used to get my leaves uh, from the office, every uh, week off, I used to think that uh, this week off I'll do, this week off I'll do. But uh, uh, I every time I used to cancel sometimes uh, because I was uh, thinking that uh, will I be able to do it or not. So what I did was that one day, uh, and I used to get my week off on that time on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, and uh, uh, my parents are working, so. I uh, woke up around 1 p.m. because I do night shift and uh, uh, by 3 p.m. I thought I should go because every week and in every week off I think that I should go I should go and every time I cancel because of the fear inside me and uh, I, I thought that uh, I should just go and uh, but I have to come back by 6 30 p.m. because I, have, I haven't informed my parents and of course if I'll ask them that shall I go to Murthal solo on a motorcycle they will say no uh, so I thought I, I'm not going to tell them anything I'm going to do it solo and uh, I have to come back home by 6 30 because uh, uh, by 6 30 my parents will reach home and uh, if I'll come after them they'll come to know so I had just one safety gear that was helmet and also gloves and uh, I still remember the date it was 13th of July 2016 last year and uh, I left I I was just thinking that uh, I hope it not uh, it won't rain because uh, last year in July it was raining and uh, monsoon was there but that day it was completely sunny so I thought uh, I have enough time to go there and come back and I started riding the time, if you live in Delhi, uh, we have to go through Rohini and Pitampura side. Now there is a, a flyover they have made which they call Double Decker, Double Decker Road. So I went through that road and NH1 was in front of me. So the time I took left, I was like, okay, I'm on the highway now. I have to be careful. And I started riding and it was so fun. Just after a few minutes, the fear which was inside me, that was gone and uh, I was just lo loving my ride uh, the, because of the reason monsoon was uh, there so even though it was sunny but uh, cold breeze was there so while I was riding uh, cold breeze was touching my face from under the helmet and uh, it was fun uh, and uh, I it was a uh, completely sunny sky so I was confident that it, was, it won't rain 
and uh, I was just enjoying it. I thought that okay, I, I won't write very fast and I still write, uh, I still don't write fast. So I was not trying to match with the traffic flow. I know that there, the traffic flow is out of my comfort zone. So I'll write slow on the left hand side and uh, I was just loving it. It was great. And uh, even though I was not used to of uh, writing for so long and uh, uh, my, uh, my bum started hurting because of the vibration on the motorcycle but still I was enjoying I thought that okay I have to get back home before 6 30 so I won't stop I'll just go in Murthal and uh, I'll have something there I'll eat something and then I'll come back so I reached Murthal and uh, uh, I stopped at Sukhdev which is uh, probably the most famous dhaba there and you won't believe that was my first time in Murthal so I was also happy that I was able to discover a place on in my first solo ride and on that time I, uh, I was not using any navigation so I just had a rough map in my mind and uh, I just reached there after one and a, one and a half hour of ride I reached Murthal and uh, I didn't eat much I just had a sandwich and rasmalai in uh, Sukhde because uh, I knew if I asked them to cook a paratha then that will take more time and uh, I don't have much time, I have, to, I have to go back home, my parents will be there by 6.30. So I left and uh, the time I uh, left, uh, it was again a clear sky but after 10 kilometers, I saw that there are thick black clouds ahead of me and uh, I thought that if it will rain, then that won't be good and if it rains, it, if it definitely rains, I'm not going to stop because if I will stop, uh, I'll reach home late and uh, my parents will come to know about everything. So uh, I just started uh, riding non-stop and uh, after some time it was raining uh, so heavy that uh, I was the only person on a two-wheeler who was riding on the highway because all the other people on their scooter and motorcycle they were under the shade of every bus stop and uh, I was the only guy who was uh, riding who was on the two-wheeler and all the cars were having their parking lights on it was so, it was such a heavy rain and uh, half of and uh, one third of the, of the highway on my left hand side was filled with water so you can imagine the amount of heavy rain uh, I was under and uh, Everybody was riding at the speed of 25-30. That was my speed also, just 25-30. And I thought that, okay, uh, I think uh, I'm going to get late now. Uh, and suddenly uh, I realized, I was thinking that I won't stop. Even though it's raining so, it's such a heavy rainfall, I won't stop. But I just realized that my mobile phone is in my pocket all the time. And uh, I thought that, is it gone now? Because I was completely drained in... Uh, under the in the water I was completely wet and I stopped my motorcycle uh, in front of a bus stop and the time I got off the motorcycle so much of water drained off me it was like uh, you just uh, uh, turn the water bucket upside down it was like that and I uh, went under the shade of the bus stop I took on my I took off my phone from the pocket and I checked if it's working or not and luckily it was working and uh, what I did, I just get, get, got back on my motorcycle because I saw the time and it was 6 p.m. And uh, I thought I just have 30 minutes to reach my home and I have covered only half of the distance. So it's basically uh, not possible to reach home within the next 30 minutes. So I made a plan. Uh, what I did, uh, I thought that the time I'll be, I'll get close to my home, I'll buy some jalebi and samosa for my parents. and. Uh, uh, I'll, I, once I'll reach home, I'll tell them that this was the reason I went outside. Just 5 kilometers away, I went to uh, get some jalebi and samosa and it rained. I'll tell them this story. Uh, so that's what I did when I was going to reach home. I, uh, I knew that there is a jalebi and samosa uh, wala guy who is going to uh, give me... Uh, who, who is always there and I uh, buy jalebis and uh, samosa from him. So I went there and I asked him that... Uh, I asked him that, yeah, give me this much of jalebi and samosa. He packed it. I got back on my motorcycle I, and uh, I left. Uh, I reached home, and uh, of course, from 
up to down I was completely wet so and I knew that someone is there in the home I saw that the lock is not there so I rang the doorbell and uh, my dad opened the door now before I tell you the next part of the story there are two things which I would like to tell you uh, it's quite easy to convince my dad because my dad is very decent and innocent he's uh, a very innocent person so it's quite easy to convince my dad that okay I went for hijabi and samosa and he will believe me even though I was wearing my woodland shoes I was having gloves helmet still he will believe because uh, uh, he's very simple guy so I thought okay only if, uh, only if my dad will open the door that's okay but if my mom is also inside then that's not okay because my mom is really sharp and uh, she's really smart and she knows me she knows me properly so the time I rang the doorbell my dad opened the door but, had, but I thought what if mom is also there inside so I went in uh, my dad was looking at me so first I asked him is mom in and he said that uh, no she's not in she'll be late because of the rain and I was like that's half of the work done now the half the next half was that to convince convince my dad and I told him that that I've got jalebi and samosa for you and he loves it the time he heard jalebi and samosa he forgot everything that why am I wearing shoes or gloves or anything I told him yeah this was the reason I went outside and it rained so I got completely wet so now the target was to change my clothes and then took off my shoe before my mom comes in so that's what I did and you won't believe the time I took off my shoe it, the, so much of water came out of my shoe so yeah that was the story the time my, my mom came back home uh, I didn't tell her anything of course and she didn't even ask because I changed my clothes and everything I just told her I went outside to get some jalebi and samosa for you guys and uh, yeah they were happy to see that but uh, after two weeks I told my mother that mom that day I went for a solo uh, motorcycle ride to Murthal uh, she got angry and I told her mom uh, let's get this straight I want to do this thing and uh, I promise you I'll be a very safe rider I'll ride responsibly and I'm going to buy safety gears like bike jacket uh, and everything knee guards and uh, I, I promise you I'll ride safe with all the safety gears and uh, I just wanted to prove you that uh, uh, I can ride on the highway that's the reason I didn't tell you on that time but I don't want to hide anything from you so I'm sharing this with you today and uh, my mom was still not that much convinced but every day I used to tell her that now I'm planning to go to Jaipur solo again and uh, uh, slowly and steadily when they saw that uh, yes he's able to do this and now they have faith in me that yes I can ride on the highway but uh, 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 if someone have faith in you that uh, means that you should be more and more responsible and I'm right uh, more responsibly now with all the safety gears and uh, under the speed limit I don't uh, ride very fast and uh, yeah that's my story that's how it all started uh, 13th of July 2016 it's not been even one year to this thing and uh, I'm here in front of you with 1000 subscribers and uh, it's all because of you guys 1000 subscribers uh, for me it's a big thing I know there are many other youtubers and moto vloggers with lots of and lots of subscribers I know in front of them I'm not that big but for me 1000 subscriber is uh, is like achieving a big dream and uh, uh, I don't compare my goals with others so those who are ahead of me well done but I'm really happy with this 1000 subscriber achievement and uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know words are not enough, but uh, I Try to reply to each and every comment each and every email which I receive and I like I'll keep on doing that and uh, uh, You if you want you can even uh, Comment on this video. I want to know uh, what other things Do you want to know more from me in my upcoming videos and uh, you can even suggest me some topics and that would be great so uh, thank you so much for your support again 1000 subscribers uh, was like my dream when I started this channel and I've achieved it and uh, I have more dreams now regarding this channel and uh, uh, soon I'll be doing some more uh, motorcycle rides and I hope you all are going to enjoy that so thank you so much for your support again and ride safe take care thank you